our first trade here is with Home Depot. We just closed it out because it's announcing earnings, so we don't want to have any part of Home Depot going through earnings. Our next trade was in Bank of America. Let me show you what I liked about this, this position. So we sold the $35 strike price, which is right here at our green 50 exponential moving average. Notice that down here in the volume section, there's been really nice volume over the past month or month and a half. It's made a higher low and now it's made a higher high. It came down to retest support right at that green 50 exponential moving average on the daily charts. So that looked good. Looking over at the weekly chart, we see it made a higher low here and it hasn't made a higher high yet, even though it did make a higher high here, but was in the process of, of reversing here. But I like that it is trading above or right at the green 50 exponential moving average here. The volume's been pretty good over the past several months. The buyers have shown some strength, so it looks pretty good. There is a potential for it to come down here and drop all the way to 31 or so if we were to retest this previous low because so far it's not making a higher high, which that does look a little bit negative. But I felt comfortable taking on the risk because it has broken through the exponential, the red 200 exponential moving average now. So that should serve as support for, which would put it around 34, at least temporarily. Now our next trade here is in FedEx, and that one is announcing earnings also. So just didn't want to be in that cash secured put option through earnings. Uh, 3M. Now here's another one been trading in for a long time. And we sold, like we did the other day, we sold the 110 put so we're pretty pretty far below about four dollars below where it's currently trading at also below this area right here that served as support for it back in the end of January so I like that don't really see a whole lot in the volume section the buyers showed some strength but the sellers showed some strength as well so that's pretty much a wash over here on the weekly chart we see that it's kind of just been trading sideways as far as lows over the past month so I like that because it appears to be that that buyers really like to buy it around this 111, 112 area. So I felt comfortable adding to it. Just know that it is still in a downtrend on this weekly chart, as you see by all these lower highs and all these lower lows. So the question is, is it making a higher low here or not? So we'll find that out. Looking at Texas Instrument here. All right, so in Texas Instrument, we sold the 170 put, which puts it right below both these moving averages, the green 50 and red 200 exponential moving average. So right in here, which we see that served as support for it back in, in mid and late January. So I like that. It's in a nice uptrend, making higher highs. It's making higher lows. Volume is good over the past several weeks. The one thing I don't like about Texas Instrument is that it appears to be finding resistance. Well, it doesn't appear. It is finding resistance around 185. So that is the one big negative, but I did feel comfortable going ahead with this position in spite of that, because again, we see here that it's making a higher low. Hasn't made a higher high yet, but right here, it's finding support at this green exponential moving average on the weekly chart. And volume has looked pretty good over the past month. Next trade is PLD. So we sold the 125 cash secure put option, which is right at both these moving averages. So it does look very likely that PLD will come down to retest this for support. You, know, you have a, two moving averages there. You have a previous resistance, which remember that turns into support once it breaks through like it, it did here. It took several days to a week to break through, but now it should turn into support. And that's why I felt comfortable selling that 125. And that coincides over here on the weekly chart the 125 is above the green 50 moving average, but not much, about a dollar, about a dollar 50 cent. Uh, it's made it a higher high and appears to have also made a higher low. Volume looks pretty good. So I felt comfortable adding to our PLD position. Now Johnson Johnson, here's one that's really gotten beat down here lately. So we sold the 160 cash secure put right below where it's been finding support since since the end of January. And again, it found support back over here in the fall of last year. So an area that's, ser that's been serving as support for it. The big negative, of course, here on the weekly chart is just the, all the red volume. We see this come down, but when you look at the past three weeks, including two days this week, it's just hanging out right there above our strike price. If it does drop, we expect the 158 area of service support for at least temporarily 
that put it right at this previous this previous wave's low and also right at the red exponential moving average, 200 exponential moving average on this weekly chart. Now Tyson, this is one I've been watching for a while and I finally decided today to go ahead and take a position in it. Let me pull up the charts here. All right, so we see that big decline over here on the weekly chart. That looks pretty nasty, but it's kind of leveled off since October of last year. It did drop some more, went from a low of 62 down to 59, so three more dollars lower. But now it's retested that, that, that low there at the end of December, I retested it last week. And it was on high volume, so it really got tested and it held up. So really the question is, is it going to continue holding? Notice we have a big gap down here. So will it try and fill that gap? Most likely at some point it'll fill it. But the question is, will it keep going lower? But I like that it's trading right at support. So really, really small position. We just did one contract, so $6,000 worth if it's assigned to us. And I plan to add to this if it, if it keeps finding support and the return stays sufficient. I right, now look at T row. T row, we sold the 110. A little, a little higher than I like to sell it. I, I prefer to have sold the 107 just below the support here, but it did make a higher low here. It's also made a higher high. It's kind of riding along this green exponential moving average, 50 exponential moving average on the daily chart. Nice volume from the buyers over the past several weeks. So I like that. On the weekly chart, I don't like this below both these moving averages but it does appear to be making kind of a rounded bottom. So we'll have to see what happens with it. If the market's turning, this will be a good one, um, but, but it will take some time to push through these moving averages. So we'll see how that turns out. And finally, ICE, we added one final one to our position. Now we're at a full position. We sold the March 17th, 105 cash secure put, which is again, right at both these moving averages, the 50 and 200 exponential moving average on the daily chart. It's making higher lows. Hasn't really made a higher high yet. We'll have to see if it does. On the weekly chart, we see it tested this $89 area twice. And now it's pushed back to it moving average. Appears to be trying to work its way through the green 50. and really is, is on the upper part of that for the most part. So I like that. I like the strong green buying in the volume section since October. So that looks really good. Now IPR, that one had has earnings coming up and I didn't really want to let's see. Pretty sure that one had earnings. Yeah, that one has earnings coming up. So didn't really want to be a part of it through earnings. And it was nice to be able to get out of this one and walk with a nice profit overall in that trade. It only cost us five cents to get out. Google's one that has gone against us and we were able to roll that $95 February cash secure put down to the March 90. So I really like that. And actually walked away with 50 cents. I was really happy with that. Just rolled it out one month and still pocketed 50 cents a share. So we went from an area that had been serving as support for it around this $95 area. And now it's looking weak and making lower lows like it is here on fairly high volume. And we just dropped it down $5. So pretty awesome that we got to get out of that one. Would love to have got it down to about 85 with it breaking down today. But I was happy to get it down $5 and walk away with the credit. It's interesting, it's trying to figure out what it's gonna do here. It made a higher high here, so it actually still has the potential to make a higher low if it, if it reverses above this $85 area. So we'll see how it goes. So let me know if you have any questions about any of these trades today.